Hello everybody, this video demonstrates how to use Phoenix in your personal computer. Usually you have an input file which is a Python file, you can edit it with your notepad. But actually using an editor like a spider is, is more convenient. So here I have a Windows 10 computer, so Phoenix uses a Linux terminal, so we need to open Ubuntu terminal. So when we open the Ubuntu terminal, we need to reach out the folder that contains the Phoenix input file. So please note that we can reach the Windows hard drive uh, in MNT folder. So I'm reaching out to desktop because my Phoenix folder is on desktop. So to run the Phoenix, we'll just type Python space the Phoenix input file. But this doesn't work here because in my system I both installed Python 2 and Python 3 so I need to use specifically Python 3. So data is written so a folder called results is generated which contains all the results file files. There are five files in results folder. So T distribution is the temperature distribution plot and U all and coordinates U all is a CSV file that contains the result data and coordinates is the coordinates data which is also a CSV file. You can open them using Excel or you can import them to spider environment and then you can work on them on the coding environment using Python. And PVD and VTK files can be opened via Paraview. So Paraview actually is a very good tool. Uh, this is free, open source, a very well known post processor. It takes time. So you'll open So you'll select the PVD file in the results folder which also communicates with VTU folder which contains the data We'll click on the I and then open the I to see the system in this problem is a 1D problem, so the only thing we see here is a line. And we can also generate plots by clicking the line, plot from the line, and it generates the plot. Thank you for watching. Please contact me for any further questions.